All right, Tony, thank you. It's a head count that happens once a decade. The U.S. 2020 census is just weeks away. State leaders aren't only working to get volunteers and census workers ready, but they want you to know what to expect. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt joins us now with what you need to look out for. It might be hard to believe, but the last time you filled out a census was in 2010. And those carrying it out this time around say this year will be a little different. The census 2020 is a snapshot that defines the future of our state. To understand this year's census, even a 1% undercount will actually lead to millions of dollars being lost. Is to understand what's on the line. Rhode Island Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea says an accurate headcount is crucial to receiving federal funding over the next 10 years. For things like education, public safety, roads. There's also a U.S. congressional seat hanging in the balance. Rhode Island has one of the lowest participation rates in the country. We have a lot of multifamily buildings. We have a young population. All these sorts of things, renters, for example, make it hard for there to be a complete and accurate count. This year's census will be different than the last. Everyone will be mailed this postcard. It has a website you should visit. Enter the code located on the left and fill out the form. There's no booklet, no mailing anything back, and it can all be done without speaking to a census rep. If you don't fill out the application by April, expect a door knock. Any person that goes to knock on the door from the census will be visibly identified with an official ID. If the person does not have that, if they say, I forgot it at home, don't answer the questions. You don't have to meet with that person. Corbea says it's important to remember there's no citizenship question. The postcards you're going to get, it's small. They're worried it could be missed. Those postcards will be mailed out the last two weeks of March. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.